Hey guys, Mr. Woodward again, and we are going to continue working with our 2-bit adder, and this time we're going to work with it in Circuitverse. Uh, now I wanted to show you one really cool tool that Circuitverse has, and it's here in the Tools menu, and it's called Combinational Analysis. So if you click on it right here, you are allowed to put together your own truth table, and you can have as many inputs and outputs as you would like. Now for us right now, we only need two inputs. We need A and B, and then we still need our two outputs. We need our carry out and our sum. And if you say next and then generate, oh, sorry, not generate circuit yet. We need to tell it what the truth table is. So you see it has our inputs set for us. Uh, and so just as, rev as review, zero plus zero, is zero 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 plus one is zero one one plus zero is still zero one and one plus one is one zero so i'll click generate circuit here and it produces this circuit for us where you can see our carry out is relatively simple it's just an and gate but our sum is a little trickier. It has not A and B or A and not B. And we can go ahead and check it here. Zero plus zero is zero, zero. Zero plus one is zero, one. One plus zero is still zero, one. And one plus one is one, zero. So this works. And if this is what you built, this is what you turned in, that is perfect. What I'd like to show you, though, is a simpler way of doing, uh, especially the sum here. So remember, the truth table for the sum was 0, 1, 1, 0. And hopefully that should jump out at you. Uh, but if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, but hopefully you remember that that is from your project notebook. That is an XOR gate. So instead of building all of this, in order to build our circuit, all we need is an AND gate for our carry out. That doesn't change. So I'll connect that here to A. And then we'll have our second input running to B. And for the sum, all we need is an XOR gate. And I'll do the same thing here where I'll run the top to A and the bottom to B. And you can see 1 plus 1 is still 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is still 0, 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. And 0 plus 1 is 0, 1. So the logic still works. The truth tables are the same. So these two circuits are identical. I happen to think the one up here on top is easier to build and will be easier uh, once you're in Tinkercad as well. But either one works. So no matter which answer you got here, as long as you got one of those two answers, uh, keep working. And I'll see you over on Tinkercad.